Hey everybody, it's Emery again with Ultra Savers and I am here today to introduce you guys to the newest and exciting addition to the Ultra Savers family, our new Ultra Profi Soundboard. Now, you guys know if I'm out here in front of the camera and you're not just looking at my hands, this has to be something super exciting for Ultra Savers. And it is just that. And I'm actually, I'm super elated about this, so I may get on rambling, so this may be a long one. But this Ultra Profi Soundboard is something that we've been working on for years, quite a while. And we are, I am super excited that we can finally bring this to you guys. We perfected it as much as we possibly can, and we are ready to introduce it to, to the Saber community. Um, so let's go over some things. So we know you guys have been asking for smooth swing, tip drag, all of that from Ultra Savers. Uh, and we are happy that the Ultra Profi does bring those things and so much more. So let's go over it. Uh, the Ultra Profi is, of course, built off the Profi OS operating system um, that's been around for quite a while. Extremely awesome community with the Profi board. Extremely awesome contributors to the open source operating system. And Ultra Sabers is very happy that we can finally offer our contribution to the Profi community uh, in the form of our Ultra Profi soundboard. And we feel as though this is an amazing contribution and we're happy to bring it to you. And I'm extremely excited to talk about it today. So let's go over some more. Um, what do we add? So I feel like we added some ease, some ease of use functionality that Ultra Sabers customers are used to. To the Ultra Profi, uh, we know Ultra Sabers customers, most of you guys at least, most Ultra Sabers customers don't want to go in and have to code to change the colors, change their uh, styles and things of that sort. Uh, so we've added the launcher and we've added some quality of life uh, upgrades on the controls that Ultra Sabers customers are used to. So with this being modeled after some of the Ultra Sabers pre- Previous Ultra Savers controls, um, we've obviously adopted the name Ultra Profi. So, um, and to get to the launcher, by the way, it's www.ultraprofi.com. That can be done on a Mac, that can be done on a PC. Just make sure that you use Google Chrome. So that is the only browser at this time that works with the Ultra Profi launcher. Again, it's just www.ultraprofi.com. On Google Chrome, you can do that on a Mac, you can do that on a PC, it will work with both. No issues there. So, let's talk about the Ultra Profi board itself. We do offer that in. Oh, actually, I, I missed some things. So, we also added um, a recharge port on the soundboard itself. So, uh, typically, if you wanted to get a recharge port with an Ultra Saber, we have to drill a hole in your Saber. Add that. While we can still add the external recharge port if you want with the Ultra Profi, let's go ahead and opt for that upgrade and we will add the external recharge port. By simply selecting the Ultra Profi soundboard, you automatically get the recharge port on the soundboard itself. So when you take off your palm pull out the soundboard, you're going to see a USB port. In the past, that USB port has been used for data. It is not for data. It doesn't do anything for data anymore. It is solely for the purposes of recharge. So you don't have to take your battery out, take out your soundboard, take out your, unscrew your combo, take out your soundboard, plug in your USB cord and your battery will charge before you know it. So no more taking the battery out, putting in an external charger, just plug it in and charge away. And again, guys, if you want that external recharge port so you don't even have to take the soundboard out, we'll happily drill a hole in your saver and add the external recharge port and just Click that drop down box for a recharge port. But again, the Ultra Profi, both versions come automatically with the recharge port on the soundboard. We've also upgraded the speaker. It's now a three watts instead of a two watt like we used to use, and it is extremely loud. We'll find out in a moment here when I turn this bad boy on, but it is loud. You'll be very happy for that volume down profile control. Uh, at least your neighbors and everybody else in your house will be. So, Let's talk about the zero and the light. So the zero, um, of course, comes in two versions. You can get it the analog or the pixel blade. If you just click the premium soundboard box or configuration, uh, 
that's going to get you the analog version. If you go into the pixel blade configuration, that's going to get you the pixel blade version. The analog version on the zero is one color, one flash and flash color. We feel as though the zero is for the customer that doesn't really care about um, all the million sound fonts and all of that stuff. I just want smooth swing, tip drag, and I want a cool lightsaber. Zero is for you. So again, uh, with the analog, one color, one flash on flash color, one sound font. If you get the pixel blade on the zero, you do get, obviously, because it has the RGB stream blade, you do get the ability to change to all the colors. We do have 25 presets for styles. They're not, they don't have as many animations as the light, but there are 25 presets for styles. But again, every preset is gonna have the same font. So the zero has one sound font, even with the pixel blade. So zero, uh, analog, one font, I mean, yeah, one font on both, one blade color on the analog version. Pixel blade, you get all the blade colors, just change between them, but again, still the one sound font. So zero is for that guy, again, doesn't care about a million different sounds, just the one sound, I want my whoosh whooshes, my clash clashes, my on off, you get all of that with the zero, just one set of sounds that you can not change. Now the light, on the other hand, that's the works. So with the light, if you pick the analog version, again, boom, go to premium soundboard, get your light, that's the analog version. That's still gonna get you RGBW. So you, even with the analog version, you're gonna get the ability to change through all the colors with the four channels on the analog. So RGBW, you can change between all the colors. Um, and with the pixel version, again, you can change between all the versions, all the colors, and you get animations, you get all the styles, you get all of that with the Pixel Blade version. And both come with 25 preloaded sound fonts. That's on both the analog and the pixel on the light. You get 25 presets that have 25 different sound fonts. Now, uh, because the light does have that SD card, you can go ahead and fill that up with sound fonts. So you can go well beyond that 25. Fill it up if you're that guy that wants to have 99 different sound fonts on there. But we know most customers don't want to be sitting here clicking and turning through 99 fonts. So we feel as though 25 was a good number. So we preloaded you guys with 25 of our favorite sound fonts. And those sound fonts were made by uh, Juan Sif fonts. So uh, if you'd like to check that out, if you'd like the fonts that were preloaded on here, check him out. He made all of our sound fonts. Um, so yeah, 25 different preloaded sound fonts on the light. Um, and you can fill it up as much as you want. Just add them, you just drag the folder right onto the SD card, boom. That's all in the technical videos. Those are all separate from this, but there are four different technical videos that show you how to fully utilize your Ultra Profi. Check those out so you can be a expert user on your Ultra Profi. You're gonna pick one up, highly recommend it. But yeah, you just drag and drop a folder. You can add as many sound fonts as you want on the light. Fill that up. You get as many presets and as many sound fonts as you want. And again, um, so we put as though the light is for that person that wants the works. You want all of the fonts, you want all of the animations, you want all of the styles, you want everything. Whether you get analog or pixel, you're gonna get some rendition of all of it. Obviously with the analog, you can't do all the animations, but you still get the ability to change between all of the colors. Pixel blade, you get it all. So um, enough talk. Let's go ahead and do some demonstrations on this. So did you hit the light switch? All right, guys. So we're gonna go over the how to change between the, all the different presets, how to change the sensitivity, all of that. So first of all, the presets. A preset is a sound font and a style. So we preloaded, like I said, 25 different presets on here. I'm gonna show you how to change between those. You just double tap the button. You can do that with the saber on or off. Extremely easy. Double tap. Twist. 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 And I'm not sure if you guys can see this rainbow effect. It's so bright. It might have even picked up on the camera, but it looks awesome. I'm going to keep on going. Super Saiyan. And this is where we're going to stop. For obvious reasons. I got it. Body full of tattoos and anime. You see all this anime behind me. This is definitely my favorite sound font. So we're gonna go ahead and stick with the Super Saiyan as we go through the rest of the demo. 
Um, so that's the presets. Again, you just double tap and twist. Super safe. Doesn't get any easier. And you can do that with the saber off. So saber's off, double tap, twist. So for that, you're gonna hold the button and twist. And that's gonna allow you to change color. Sensitivity. Sensitivity. Brightness. Brightness, like she said. Volume. Volume, which you're gonna love. Color. Color. So let's go ahead and change some colors. Let's, that's the most important thing here. Just turn, and it's gonna cycle through all the colors in the rainbow as you turn. You can give it a hard turn. And then turn it back to stop if you want to go a little bit faster. And you can also adjust the sensitivity of that twist effect right in the ultra property launcher. So let's get back to my green. Favorite color. And then the tutorials are now. That's your preset controls and your profile controls. That's how you switch between all your different sound fonts, presets, and that's how you switch all your profile controls. Brightness, color, volume, sensitivity, all of that. So let's go over some of the prompts stuff. Um, how you say with functions. So first of all, smooth swing, you know, there's your slow motion. You go a little bit faster. So you going to recognize that the speed at which you move and it's going to adjust the sound accordingly. Smooth swing. So you can make this as smooth as butter by adjusting the sensitivity as much as you want. So it's all up to you. Right now it's somewhere in the middle, but you can adjust the sensitivity as much as you want. That's going to obviously affect how your smooth swing operates. And then we've got Clash. Not your Star Wars sounds, but still. Clap. Alright, and then we're gonna move on to stab. That's pretty obvious. You just stab. stab. And then uh, we got our force, which is pretty cool. You're gonna get obviously different sounds for the force to stab, all that, with different presets, but for the DBZ. That's our force. All right, and then we got tip drag. So for tip drag, you're gonna wanna orient your, have your saber orienting downward, hold the button, and give it a clash. So, and that's your tip drag. Yeah, right, so hold the button, orient downward, give it a hit. And then we got our melts, which is the same as stab, but you hold the button. So you hold the button and stab. And that's your melt. Right on the end of your tip. Pretty much the same as stab, except it's a consistent effect. So here's my favorite, lock up. So before, with the old saber's lock up, you would press the button. It would be going off all the time. Now. You have to actually want it to go off. So you're going to hold the button and give it a clash. So again, it needs to be oriented upward. If you're oriented downward, it's going to do tip drag. If it's oriented upward in a fighting motion, it's going to get you the lock up. So hold the button. And that's our lock up. in the candy store. All right, guys, um, so we went over the smooth swing, lock up, tip drag, all of that stuff. It's all here. Uh, 25 different preloaded sound fonts or presets, same terminology. So again, a preset is just a combination of the sound font and the style. That's your preset. And you can change all of that 
on the ultra proppy washer. Um, so again, new ultra proppy, I don't know how long I've been talking here, but we are super, super excited about this. And that's loud, so let me turn that off. So we are super, super excited about this. Turn the lights off for me. Thank you. Um, yeah, ultra proppy. Light, ultra proppy zero. Who knows what the future holds, but for right now, these are two extremely awesome additions to not only Ultra Saber, but the Proppy community. And again, we are extremely happy that we can bring this to you guys. Um, I think that's about it. If you enjoyed the video, uh, not only thanks for watching, go ahead and pick up one of these Ultra Proppies and we'll be extremely appreciative. Again, uh, go rambling every time I make one of these videos is because it comes from the heart. We've been doing this for almost 20 years now and we can still keep making strides in the Saber community. It means so much to me to have the support of the Saber community. When we're out of these conventions, getting to see you guys' faces, and getting to see you guys enjoy our product, it means the world to me. And this new stride with the Ultra Profi, it means the world to me. I'm so glad that we, again, get to continue to push the boundaries in the Saber community, continue to improve our product, continue to improve the Saber experience. So, um, that's all I got, guys. I will let you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.